Hey y'all, what is up? It's me, Girl Shanta Donnell. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hit the button to the channel. If you are new, scratch that. Welcome back. Period. I miss y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I was stressing about like the story times and stuff like that, but y'all stuff keep happening, and y'all my friends, and I feel like we be on Facetime, and I be having to tell y'all what's going on in my life. So the other day, I ended up getting triggered uh, about a situation me and my best friend was talking about, and it got, I got triggered about it because I was just like, oh my god, I remember when it happened. So this is a story time about how one of our old homegirls tried to fight us in the club. Yeah, y'all heard me. Homegirl tried to fight us in the club. Boom! Okay, so we're gonna call this homegirl Crystal. So in this story, we have Crystal, and Crystal's not her her real name, so I would never put anybody's real name out, but Crystal, Lucky, me, and my best friend. We are the only ones in this story time. Me and Lucky were working at the movie theater. Y'all know my era of the theater is when life just got to life and for me, you know what I'm saying? In the I was stressed out like this is why I'm traumatized to be in a relationship or to have friends like that era in my life just let's just get back to the story so um me and Lucky was working at movie theaters and I don't know what ended up happening that day we just ended up being off and we was happy so we was just like you know what y'all let's just do a pamper date and then we just go out or whatever later on tonight let's just spend all day together with it so we text the group chat we like you know it's a girl's day um day and night because we're gonna go get our nails done and then we're gonna go um go out or whatever because you know we go out we, we we like to do the whole nine yards from the hair the toes the nails the fits everything we like we like to be on point baby so around this time i did not have my car just yet i think like three months later i ended up getting my car around this time lucky was the driver so we us the way we are set up if my homegirl's the driver she don't have to worry about gas because we put gas in it all day if we ride in your car we're just gonna put gas in it period now the only thing lucky used to piss us off with lucky used to just Lucky just was late like Lucky was late to everything so we was just like let's go ahead since you already up because me and Lucky went to work that morning but we didn't have to go to work that's when they told us we didn't have to go so I'm like okay since you up let's just go ahead and pick everybody up because if she go home she gonna take the other day so I'm like okay let's just go pick up my best friend and let's go pick up Crystal or whatever so we get to picking my best friend up my best friend ready you know we ready to go everybody got their money everybody got clothes on Woo. so we go to crystal house so of course crystal like i was saying it's all about crystal so we go to crystal crystal take it forever in a day just to put on some sweats some slides and a shirt y'all like we sitting in there she's literally just going i'm like bro we just about to go get our nails done and our toes done like it's really not that serious like let's just go we got on work clothes like let's go me being me i'm a person where i don't like to just show up any type of way so i was understanding however i'm not gonna od neither when i got people waiting on me like if i got people waiting on me and it's kind of like a fast little motion plus we going to the nail salon you already know we already early so let's just get there before all the seats get taken up because we was we were all planning the plan was all of us go to the same salon boom so she ended up getting dressed or whatever boom she's dressed we get in the car we on the way there so when we get in the car we already feel her energy we feel it's all about her type of day that's the type of day we feel like she on we ain't slow by a long shot because that's exactly the type of time she was on like jamming or whatever we, 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 da, 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 da. so she like okay well i want to go to this nail salon on the south side so we kind of like why when we all go to this nail salon like everybody stays on the east side so why are we going all the way to the south side to get our nails done so she was like well that's the only nail salon i go to and that's the only place i want to go to da -da -da -da. so lucky i don't know what 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 lucky mindset is it's just she falls victim because okay this is the backstory lucky and crystal are best friends and me and my best friend are best friends but we all became one unit she was just like well crystal like we all on the east side it's no point for all of us to go on the south side like i'm not trying to do all of that because i gotta put gas in the car so we sp stopped her right there we like well you don't have to worry about gas because we're gonna put gas in it but we do understand there's no point to go all the way to the south side when there's a east side nail salon right here she decides, well, I don't want my nails done over there. Y'all can just drop me off and then y'all can go over there. So we like, it's no point. Why would we all be in separate nail salons? Because when you're done, and if, if you're done and we're not done now, we, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be a whole lot, a whole lot. Of, and you already got an attitude problem. So if we're not done around the time you're done, you're going to have a whole attitude and this, that, and the third. Y'all, so Lucky slow behind. She decides to do it. So I'm just like, okay, well, if you on the south side, then cool. Crystal, you putting gas in the car first. We'll put gas in the car tonight since you decided that you wanted to go all the way on the south side. So she like, that's fine. You know, money ain't a problem for me. I put gas in the car. You know, do this whole fronting and extra stuff. You know, we got money too, baby. It's not that deep. She like, okay, cool. Da -da -da. 
So she drops her off to the nail salon or whatever. And we just sitting there. Me and my best friend looking at her like she done. Like we like really lucky. Like you knew you did not want to come over here. But you decided to fall victim. That's your best friend. You should be able to talk to your best friend about anything. And if she don't like it, I would have told her, listen, you're going to have to suffer today or you could go home. But we're not doing this whole all about you day. We all literally are going to the same nail salon. Like we're... I ain't gonna get on it. Kind of was just like, we don't even want our nails done anymore because I don't want to be rushed. So we just canceled the whole nail appointment. I was like, you know, everybody nails was done, but we was going to get them redone. So I'm just like, you know what? I could last another week before I get my nails or I could just go tomorrow because I don't want to be rushed getting my nails done. Like, when you get your nails and toes done, you're supposed to be in a relaxing mindset. So baby done pissed me all the way off. So it ain't even no point for me even want to get my nails done. You done ruin my whole atmosphere of peace. Thinking, we just like, well, at this point, we just gonna go to the mall because since we right here, the mall was on the south side. We're gonna go to one of the shopping places on the east side. So, anyway, we're just like, well, since the mall right here, we might as well just go to the mall to find us outfit. So, we all, me, Lucky, and my best friend, we go to the mall or whatever. So, we in the mall, we shopping around. So, she get a phone call. She was like, okay, well, where y'all at? I'm done. So, she was like, well, we in the mall looking for outfits. Why would y'all go to the mall without me? Why would y'all go to the mall without me? Y'all knew I wasn't there. Y'all knew I needed an outfit. Da -da -da -da. So Lucky goes off. She like, you need to calm down because you doing too much. You the one that want to go to the south side. We could have all went to the mall together if we all wanted to go to the nail salon. Now the reason we didn't get our nails done at that salon is because they were already packed. Uh, Crystal had already called her personal nail tech to get her nails done. And that's what pissed everybody off. It's just like you was inconsiderate. You couldn't even see, okay, is there room for, I got three homegirls. Is there room for all three of us? No, baby was just focused about herself. So we, that's why we just was like, don't even worry about the nails. So she's why y'all ain't wait on me to go get go get me an outfit. Da -da -da -da. Now we gonna have to go back. Da -da -da -da. Girl, we didn't even find nothing. We literally just been walking around, and we really had got something to eat from out the food court. We just been walking around. She was like, "Girl, calm, like calm down. You're doing too much." Not because that's just really lame. Like that's just really lame. But I'm ready. So at this point, me and my best friend like this is about to be a long day, and we both like I'm about to cancel going out at this point if this keep happening. The car, we get back to the mall. Everybody didn't find their outfit or whatever. So at this point, now we're trying to figure out who house we want to go to to get dressed. I just love going to Lucky House because it just made me feel bougie. Like her folks, they, they gave me hope to know that my house, this house I'm going to get, is going to be huge. We ended up going to Lucky House or whatever to get dressed and we had everybody had to stop to get what they needed because we didn't have like my makeup and all that other stuff because usually they want me to beat their face or my best friend's probably put, doing some braids real quick for them. Like we, we probably all doing something and we wasn't going out till later that night. So I think we all end up getting our hair done or doing each other hair or whatever, just chilling. We just kind of laid over. We just stayed there and like laid over or whatever. Because we was actually coming back to her house that night or whatever to stay the night too. So we was just like, we'll just go ahead and go to her house. So we went to her house. We grabbed some food. We went to her house or whatever. We was watching some movies, you know, chilling or whatever. So we ended up picking up another one of our homegirls. And we, I don't know why we picked her up. She was so messy. I ain't never like hanging around her because we was just like the more the merrier because the club we was going to is not a club that's open no more where I stay but that club used to go down baby like used to go down but we we would always have like a group of us because we love having fun like and usually when we walk in the club all the girls that we walk in the club with they gonna want to club with us period like they be looking but in reality they really be like I wonder if they gonna let us come over there and dance with them and we cool like we be chilling we end up picking her up we end up going to the club or whatever so while we're in the club trying to interrupt the story time so anyway we end up going to the club or whatever we end up getting in there we having a great time so at this time you know everybody just having a good time we dancing so we had already peeped crystal little attitude you know at this point we don't really give a let's go to the bar so we end up going to the bar everybody started getting something to drink or whatever so i ended up buying lucky a drink like we're the type of friends where we all fighting to get the tab. Like, that's just the type of friends we is. Like, if you don't put your card out fast enough, somebody else paying for it. That's how we are. So, we at the bar cracking up about who paying and it's that and third. So, here come Crystal. She come over there. Oh, so ain't nobody asked me if I wanted something to drink and wooty wooty woot. So, Lucky goes off. Lucky, like, I ain't had enough of your attitude today. Like, you're doing too much. You're doing way too much. You're OD and wooty wooty woot. Now, y'all, before we got in the club, we had literally had this talk. We had this talk all the time because we see it all the time where homegirls will go out and they'll bring whatever they got going on to the public. Like, we're, I always told them, y'all, I don't care how bad we, you know, we getting into it or whatever that day. Let's not go in public with it. Like, that's how I am with, with everything. Business, relationship, friendship, anything. Let's just not go in public with it. Like, we'll handle it behind closed doors. Now, back to where we was at. She was just like, I'm tired of this attitude. Like, you doing too much. We in public. Like, come on now. Like, you need to relax. 
Y'all, so I don't know what happened to Crystal, but baby, I guess somebody sprinkled some Crystal light and Crystal wanted to fight. So she was just like, she, the way they was, they was standing face to face, but we standing behind Lucky. So she, I don't care, da -da -da, like I'm talking about putting her hand on, this your best friend. Forget everything else. This is your best friend and you're in public. Like you're dead serious trying to fight your best friend. You're weird. So I don't care what you talking about. I'm tired of you playing with me. So listen, y'all, I met Lucky first. I met Crystal through Lucky. Like me and, me and Lucky are like sisters. So at this point, everything that went out the window for all of us, we dead serious about to swing on her because it's just like you in the club trying to play around. Like you in the club trying to fight your homegirl right now. Like have you lost your, this is embarrassing. Like, so everybody in the club looking at us, I'm like, bro, this just, this just pisses me. This is embarrassing. So they looking, they laughing. They like, oh my God, like that's ghetto. They is ghetto. What's going on? Did it all? At first they thought that we were beefing, but the girl, she was like, oh, they friends. Like I would never fight my friends. Did it all? I'm just like, this is so embarrassing. But at that moment, I didn't even care. I didn't click out. Now I'm ready to swing. You know, kind of like pushing Crystal, like girl back up. Like you OD and like you're doing too much. So she pushing her. So y'all, they put us out the club. So the security guard come and they putting us out the club or whatever y'all so at this point i'm just a raging bull like i'm pissed off because at this point you you just od like you try it y'all know how i get when i black out that's just it so she outside so um lucky like no nah, that's lame i don't care about none of that like that's lame you lame you lame you lame i'm not caring about nothing so crystal oh, i walk on i call one of my dudes to come get me right now i don't need y'all so at this point i'm like oh, okay cool so i walk up to her i said what we not gonna do and sit here and be embarrassed and y'all i'm talking about going off being embarrassing in front of all these people I'm talking about, I'm being like i'm y'all i'll be swearing i'm a nigga so i'm like i don't care what you talking about if you want to do something let's do it then i said you're embarrassing you like y'all i'm going off i'm telling y'all i'm in this girl face like i know she can smell my breath i know the spit in here i know we just bumping noses at that's how close we were like we were that close so she was like i don't give up about none of that da -da -da -da. so i'm like i don't give up about none of that like None of that. Like, you embarrassing, bro. We just sat in this club. You tried to fight your homegirl in the club. I said, that's embarrassing. You're lame. Like, you're lame. I just kept stressing. You're lame. You're lame. You're lame. You're, you're lame. You're lame. You're lame. Don't like it. Couldn't. I, like, after that, I just did not mess with her because it was just like, you ODing by the attitude because you pissed off because nobody want to cater to you. We not your mama and we darn sure not your man. We your homegirls. It's not all about you. Learn how to take one for the team. That's the problem. You're a sore loser. I hate that. I hate that. That is a big pet peeve for me. Like, I just do not like that. I'm about to call one of my niggas. Da -da -da -da. So, um, lucky she like, no, because your mama kill me if I just let you be out here or walk home or whatever happens to you. At the end of the day, you my responsibility. That's what I love about Lucky. If you are her responsibility, she is not going to let you get out of her peripheral. Like, she is not going to let you leave from around her. That girl don't play that. That happened with me, too. That's a different story time. I think I already told that story time. I don't know. If I didn't, then y'all going to find out. But she's that type of friend where she don't play that at all. Like, she do not play that at all. She no, I'm not leaving her. I don't care what y'all say. We weren't telling her to leave, but we telling her just to calm down. So she was like, bro, get in the car. Like she talking to uh, Crystal. She like, bro, get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. Like get in the car. So we ended up dead serious. Everybody got in the car. We ended up snatching her in the car and putting her in the car and closing the door or whatever. So we all arguing or whatever. We ended up dropping her. She was like, I don't care what you want to do or whatever. She was like, you don't have to stay at my house, but I'm going to drop you off home wherever you go after I drop you off home. It's up to you. But what we're not going to do is have your mama calling my phone blowing me up because I am I'm responsible for you, my homegirl. She said, I don't care that you tried to fight me. She said, I don't respect that. I said, but I'm a, she was like, but I'm going to at least get you home safely. So I was just like, you know what? Although I'm pissed off. I mess with you like I mess with you because at the end of the day you could have just left her because I would have just left her you try to put your hands on me we can't be friends if you're trying to put your hands on me any friend that I have ever put my hands on we are no longer friends because I should never have to get to that point with you if I literally get to that point that means you have really crossed the line with me and there's no point of return and I'm dropping crystal off home and then our extra home girl and then me my best friend and lucky and I'm going to lucky house we just ended up talking about it and we were just asking her you know are y'all still gonna be cool she was just like honestly she was pissing me off all day with the attitude like it was just getting on my nerves like it was just too much. So she ended up, uh, Crystal, and, Crystal and 
lucky ain't talked for like weeks after that because you know crystal has this pride thing where she felt like she wasn't wrong but lucky when me and lucky ended up going to work she ended up telling me that they ended up uh talking about it or whatever and crystal was just like i didn't have the attitude that day i just felt like nobody was trying to hear me out and nobody was trying to do what i wanted to do so lucky was just like it wasn't that we wasn't trying to do what you wanted to do everything that you wanted to do was od like we was all trying to stay in the same space because nobody one wanted to waste gas and nobody wanted to go to places that they just like it was just all about her like it wasn't oh have y'all ever gone here do y'all want to try it it was just we going here and that's fine it was a demand like baby i'm we don't do demands like we don't do that i'm not your kid we ain't doing that that's why i be scared to have friends because people just be weird like i don't really my experience with friends and homegirls and it just takes me to a place where I just back up because just be weird for real. Not always encounter the weird bitches. But I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. If you like the story time, comment down below. Make sure you thumbs this video up and make sure you are subscribed, honey. But most importantly, make sure your post notifications on so your phone can beat buzz. Probably do whatever it does when your girl posts another video. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next story time.